Nā reira ka hau nei a te kaiwhakahāre mō te iwi o Ngāti Wai a kei, kei roto tēnei kaupapa o te Y26, te Kremer Y262. Nā reira ko te rā nei a ka, 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 ka mahi au te, te whakariri a oku a hikoi ki Ahipara ki te tīmatanga to mā tēnei kaupapa i reira. A, I te e, a pāhi te whā, whā kraka a, te pōhiri mō, mō mātiu ngā kai kreme o te tai tokarau a, ko Ngāti Wai, ko te raroa me, me Ngāti Kuri. A, at the time of our uh, hui at Paparore, um, myself and Hami Gosami uh, had, uh, had um, agreed that the, um, the report can be presented at, the, um, at uh, Roma Marae in Ahipara. And because we were just talking about it in our hui, that um, you know, those of us, the three claimants of uh, Te Tai Tokoro, uh, Ngāti Puri, Te Rarua and Ngāti Wai, should bring something you know, relevant uh, to each other's claims, uh, part in this uh, claim. And of course for ourselves in Ngāti Wai, uh, we are the only uh, iwi in New Zealand that has a wealth training protocol which allows us, uh, gives us our right to claim resources from whales. And so I said to Hami that, um, okay, uh, I'll put some whale um, uh, stuff together, some whale uh, bone stuff together for our hui. And so that's what I'm doing at the moment. I have um, I've made up this um, tefa tefa here uh, for, for our hui, for, for our hui, just to show some of the uh, relevance of, um, of um, whale bone, uh, you know, from our Tupanus perspective, you know, in terms of making weaponry. I've also uh, made up this patiprawa, this patiprawa here, and because um, what I'm working on at the moment, uh, before I go up to Ahipara this afternoon, are these uh, tefa uh, here. So there's uh, seven, there's seven of these, and of course six of them actually represent the um, the uh, six um, claimants, uh, Y262 claimants, and of course uh, always to be be remembered that we aren't claimants just for our own selves. We are claimants for, for, for the whole of Māoriudum, Uri no te mutu. And so six of these, um, so that's what I'm, I'm doing with them. This one here, so what, they, uh, what we wanted to do with, the, uh, with these teka was to uh, have some kind of a memorial about the whole journey that it has been to try and deal with the Y262 claim. So on these, I... Um, have uh, tattooed onto them uh, Y262 report, Roma Marae, Ahipara, July 2011. And that's on the head of the, uh, of the teka, and then of course on its tongue, I am putting the iwi. In this particular case, this one here has got Ngāti Wai on it. Uh, that's what I'm uh, sort of stressing out a little bit at the moment, is because I still need to do that to do. At the same time, too, these teka will have uh, albatross uh, feathers in their noses. So uh, same same feathers as I've got on this um, on this tefa tefa here. Is that each of these uh, teka will have uh, the albatross, the turua uh, feathers, and that of the turua on them. And because at the same time, too, um, about two weeks ago, I uh, went up to Ahipara to visit Hami. And just to see how things were going in terms of um, them organising our, our conference. And of course I always felt that it was up to them, up to them to, uh, to tell others of us what they needed in terms of support for, for, for hosting this hui, uh, rather than us tell them what they should be doing. Never, never for Ngāti Wai. We will never do that. And that is, some, that is a kaupapa that we have maintained throughout. I said that because Ngāti Kuri and, uh, and Tararoa were already uh, involved with the Waitesix claim for something like three or four years uh, before Ngāti Wai got involved. 